One more take. <laughs> it's okay. I'm going to be loud. They probably won't hear that noise in the back. Hi. Hi. Welcome to my channel, Adia Sherelle. Today I am going to show you how I achieved this half up, half down hairstyle. It's super cute, super easy. So the hair I use is Zuri Bohemian Curl. It looks very natural. It's such a fun, cute curl. And I will be breaking down the steps, how I do the cornrows, and then I go into how I slick this hair up into a ponytail because I know y'all see these waves right here, okay? It's oh so wavy. <laughs> and make sure you watch all the way to the end. So what I'm going to do first, I just co-washed my hair. Um, I am going to start off by parting my hair, you know, get the base of your style situated. Okay, so I am back. I parted my hair, as you can see. And don't worry, the braids don't have to be perfect, as you see here. Okay, so we are going to start with adding the crochet hair. It's about to get real cute. Um, so with this hair, it comes with an eight a nine and a 10 inch. So the best way to go about this would be to start off with the shorter length in the back, okay? So let's get into it. So when it's folded up, this is how short it looks, but I want it longer. So I'm going to actually install it like this. So oh, install it like this so I can have more length to it. You catch my drift? Let's try it out and hopefully I have enough hair. Who knows? So, you take your latch hook needle, and I like this one because it's smaller, so when it's going under your braids, it's sliding through much easier. Then, you grab your hair. We're going to put our index finger and thumb on the inside and grip the rest, okay, with our fist. So that's how it looks. And then when you go in to loop it, your going in with the latch needle once you put the flap down hook it like that and then when you go through the braid you close it up okay let's begin so slide your latch hook under the braid put it through the clap of the hook part close it on up shut the door slide it through Okay, find that opening and then go ahead and pull the two strands through. And you want to twist it around and then pull it through again to have it more secure. Okay, and now this is longer. Keep it going. See, I told you it would be easy. This is a really great protective hairstyle. Crochet braids are the best. And this hair was really great to work with. I really like the curl pattern. I think it will blend with a lot of us naturals. I'm going to space it out. Okay, you don't want to pack it in too much because this hair does get really voluminous. It will get big. So it's better to spread it out first, especially during the bottom. And as you get to the top, you could pack it in a little bit more. Okay, let's speed up the process. And another great thing about this hairstyle is that it's cheap. I have seen clip-ins that have similar texture. I mean, of course, it's human hair. But if you want a great dupe, this is perfect. I only use one pack, and it costs around $10. Okay, so one thing I'm noticing because I'm making one end longer than the other, um, of course, here it's going to look a little thin. So what I'm going to do is put some pieces at the bottom that are going to go past my shoulder so I'm gonna uh, fold it evenly and then just fill it in so it won't look all you know strangly. Adding more hair on the bottom really helped it to fill in and it looks much better. All done with the 8 inch bundle. I'm going to go into the 9 inch hair. Which is the way I staggered the bundles really gave it a nice shape. As you can see, it's starting to look more full. There are layers. I just, I can't wait for y'all to see the finished results. So, 
Hello, I am back. I have finished all of the crochet braid install. So now I'm going to do my ponytail. I'm just going to pull everything into a ponytail. Sometimes when I do my ponytails, I actually secure it in the ponytail holder first and then put gel on it. Okay, I'm going to split this into two and then braid it down. Then I just put it in a bun. Put it in a bun. So just take the top piece and just wrap it around the bun. Okay. Like so. And then, then take one piece couple of strands and just wrap it around okay so I wrapped that piece around all right so you could do it to the middle or you could bring it all to one side it's up to you but I have a big old bun peeking out in the back, so I'm going to use pins to conceal the bun. Just pinning it down in the back. All right, so I want a little bit more volume to this, and I have to shape it. So. All I did was just cut off the ends of the hair that were way too long. I'm just going to separate at the root. Here you see me going through and separating the curls very gently just so I can have a little bit more volume. Okay. Lastly, I'm going to gel down the edges of my hair. Using Extreme Gel. Love this gel. So go on ahead, slap on some gel, brush it down, slick it down, wrap it with a scarf, and let it dry. And I will come back with the finished look. Perfect. So thank you for watching my video. Make sure you subscribe. You have to, it is a must. Make sure you do that and leave a comment. I would love to get your feedback. And if you have any questions, I always respond. If you are curious about this green makeup, you wanna get into that autumn, fall season, check out my next video on the makeup tutorial. Bye.